Hey, what's going on? This is Abdullah and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to make planners. We're using a planner generator, okay? The, the only downside of this is that only for personal use, okay? And But it's still very useful. Also, I'm going to show how to make a uh, daily planner with Canva, easy wheezy as well. This video was requested by uh, Mar V Jamali, thank you very much for subscribing. And also, I gotta give credit. I didn't find this on my own. I found this through uh, watching another YouTuber. I'll uh, show her right here on the screen. I forgot her name. Like Sai G Traveling Designer or something like that. But anyways, without any further ado, let's get into it. All right. Uh, first of all, you'll need InDesign, as you can see, this is a blank template, and you'll need this Adobe InDesign calendar wizard, all right? All you need to do is download it, and I'll show you how to actually install it as well. Basically, you, you should basically will find it in, in your download files. You gotta unzip it first. So one, once you unzip it, you'll find these files. All you need to do is copy these files, and go to your local disk local disk go to program files find Adobe go to the Adobe InDesign and then go to scripts right here and then go to scripts panel and paste it here that's it after that oh, uh, just Relaunch uh, InDesign, okay. Uh, actually, I'm not. I, I used to. Uh, I used it like before, like six months ago, uh, seven, uh, like five months ago. But I actually forgot how to use it and all that. So actually, she it explains it uh, way better than me. But here I'm going to show you how, like just the basics. It's not. It's actually it's not complicated at all. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel down below in the description, and. Uh, Actually, if you're watching this, uh, just join my Facebook group, and uh, you, uh, actually I want to start like a little podcast or, or interview. Just want to have people on who have like, j just to share their experience with KDP, online business and all that. Just share with valued people. If you're interested, like, just join the Facebook group I'll, and I'll contact you myself on, uh, on Facebook, okay? So as you can see here, we have this, uh, actually there's so many options you can pick here. But I'm just going to make a basic one. Um, okay, so January, December, 2022, 2022. Eng language, you can pick any language you want. Um, if you want, how you want to, to the day, like just short, mid, full. Um, I'm going to do short. Include the moon phase, no, no need for that. Highlight holidays page like the current document I'll just go with the new document default portrait a uh, letter and yeah actually there's a lot of stuff independent uh, holiday layer there's so many things here just uh, just after that click OK so finally now we have it uh, it's done as you can see here actually you can make uh, multiple like different types and all that uh, for example, just click on this calendar here. Ah, ah actually, I forgot. Sorry about that. Um, if you don't uh, to find this uh, script, hold on. To find the scripts thing, click on window, right? Go down, utilities, and here you'll find scripts. Or click on Control Alt F11, so you, to, to, so you can find this little thing right here, so you can use it. Calendar wizard. Okay. okay. Um, now, since we have this, uh, actually, you can make a, a different types. It's not that, not only that one. Actually, can make uh, different types of like papers and all that. Um, you can also, for example, this. You can like pick, choose how many calendars do you want per page? Do you want one? Do you want ten? Do you want two? It's up to you. Um, okay, so this is just for experimenting. 
maybe to April, whatever. Let's try this out. Measure default portrait auto new document. So there's uh, so much to it. So yeah, it's very useful. And if you want to export it, you can just click on File, Export, and then you can choose a PDF print, and then name it whatever you like and choose where you want to save it, basically. That's it. Let's move on to show you how to make it a daily planner template. Okay, so I just want to essay, and I searched for daily planner. I found this one. It's pretty simple, and um, yeah, so this is very really, uh, nice and simple. That's what I like. I just go to um, Canva, as always, pick the size that you want, uh, 8.5 by 11. So yeah, basically, uh, as you can see, I just uh, go to, uh, click on file, click on show margins, within the margins, added the text, you know, just uh, basically, it's like drawing, basically, just like daily planner, types here, daily planner. Uh, today's agenda, here's today's agenda. Da -da -da. And uh, by default, uh, you like you making this yourself. You're probably gonna use different fonts. You're gonna use different shapes and all that. By default, it's gonna make a, uh, you're gonna want to make a, a unique version of that. It's not you're not gonna basically copy and paste, you know. So yeah, same thing here. So yeah, basically, uh, as you can see, I just uh, go to uh, click on file, click on show margins. So see, within the, the the frame or whatever, within the margins, um, and I, I added the text. You know, just uh, basically, what it's like drawing, basically, just like daily planner types here daily plan uh, today's agenda agenda here's today's agenda da -da -da. and uh, by default uh, you like you making this yourself you're probably gonna use different fonts you're gonna use different shapes and all that by default it's gonna make a uh, you're gonna want to make a, a unique version of, of that it's not you're not gonna basically copy and paste you know so yeah same thing here so basically we, we have um, one two eight and one seven. ah this is like confusing a little this is a bit confusing but it's not really confusing but the numbers is, doesn't make any sense okay so I'm just going to duplicate these lines put them down here and Click on this to one to the dark gray, and uh, basically, you have to add the numbers. Duplicate this line here. I mean, you can see how I'm, where I'm going with this. So yeah, uh, and uh, to find the uh, the interior, you can just uh, search on Etsy and you'll find it. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and thank you for commenting and asking me for that video. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next video. Peace!